Welcome to my presentation on vital stem therapy. My name is Katie Devenu, and for the next 10 minutes, I will be talking to you about this intervention for clients with dysphagia. Vital stem is a dual channel electrotherapy system which uses small calibrated electrical current delivered by specially designed electrodes to stimulate the muscles responsible for swallowing. This is a safe and effective treatment for patients with dysphagia. VitalStim was approved by the US FDA in 2001 for the treatment of dysphagia through the application of neuromuscular electrical stimulation to cervical swallowing muscles. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation is routinely used to help restore muscle function, but traditional NMES treatments are contraindicated for use on the anterior neck. The specific concerns were that stimulating the laryngeal afferents could trigger laryngeal spasm and that placing electrodes too close to the carotid artery could cause sinus bradycardia. But the vital stem therapy system is not traditional electrical stimulation and therefore received clearance for use on the swallowing muscles. Vital stem is appropriate for use with clients who have dysphagia. Prevalence of dysphagia is 22% in those over 50 years of age. 50 to 75% of stroke patients have dysphagia and 60 to 70% of patients who undergo radiation therapy for head and neck cancer may develop dysphagia. This is a simple diagram of the musculature involved in swallowing. A typical swallow involves several different muscles and nerves. When we see, smell, or taste food, we produce saliva, which is designed to make chewing easier. We chew the food until it becomes a soft bolus, a mass of food that is ready to swallow. The tongue pushes it to the back of the mouth to the pharynx. From this moment onwards, the swallowing movement is a reflex action. The larynx closes to prevent food or liquid from going down the windpipe into the lungs. The gulping action pushes the food into the esophagus, which has muscular walls, and pushes the food down to the stomach. Dysphagia can be caused by a difficulty anywhere in the swallowing process described above. On this slide, the two types of dysphagia are described. Oropharyngeal dysphagia, the, which is where the problem is likely in the mouth and or throat and is usually caused by a neurological problem, is a type of dysphagia that is best treated by vital stem therapy. Complications of dysphagia include pneumonia and other respiratory infections, specifically aspiration pneumonia, which can occur when you swallow something and it goes down the wrong way to enter the lungs. According to the Agency for Healthcare Policy and Research, it is estimated that over 60,000 people a year will die from cases of aspiration pneumonia just in the United States, with a large proportion of these cases due to dysphagia. Malnutrition is especially the case with people who are not aware of their dysphagia and are not being treated for it, and dehydration because, of course, if you cannot drink properly, your fluid intake may be undermined, leading to dehydration. On this slide, you can read some of the signs and symptoms of dysphagia. A symptom would be something that the patient feels and reports, while a sign is something that other people, such as the doctor, will detect. Some patients may have dysphagia and be unaware of it. In such cases, it may go undiagnosed and not be treated, raising the risk of aspiration. This is a list of the many conditions that contribute to the development of dysphagia. As you can see, most of these conditions are neurological. The therapist begins by first performing an evaluation to identify the involved musculature. Vital stim involves the administration of small electrical impulses to the swallowing muscles through electrodes attached to the skin overlying the musculature. Once the patient's dysphagia has been medically evaluated, the 60-minute sessions begin with the electrodes placed on the skin at specific points on the patient's throat or face, and feeding practice and other exercises are performed. Therapy sessions are repeated daily or almost every day until progress seems to plateau or the patient has met his or her goals. A small, carefully calibrated current is delivered to the motor nerves of the patient's throat through specially designed electrodes, causing the muscles responsible for swallowing to contract. At the same time, a dysphagia specialist guides the patient through active swallowing therapy to re-educate normal swallow function. Patients frequently see dramatic improvement in 6 to 20 daily sessions, sometimes in as little as 3 days. Since it became available in 2001, over 4,000 clinical professionals have been certified to use vital stem therapy. To date, vital stem therapy has been utilized in more than 1,400 facilities throughout the country, and more than 10,000 patients have been helped by this therapy. This is a list of just a few of the swallowing exercises that a therapist may have the patient perform while vital stem is being administered simultaneously. The biomechanical and rehabilitative frames of reference are the two theories that I feel are most suitable for guiding use of vital stem therapy. Several of the foundations of these 
theories are listed here, including the fact that outcomes are easy to measure and quantify using these frames of reference. This is a short list of a few of the assessment tools that may be used to track outcomes of patients who have undergone vital stim therapy for treatment of dysphagia. Therapists administering vital stim therapy must be certified with a two-day certification course costing $775. Requirements to enroll in the certification course are rigorous, including have a majority of dysphagic patients on current caseload, with sufficient experience defined as having been solely responsible for the evaluation, treatment plan, and discharge of a minimum of 50 dysphagic patients in three years of at least a 25% dysphagic caseload. An entire vital stim kit costs just under $14,000, with a portable kit costing just under $1,600. A 12-pack of electrodes which will serve 12 patients, is $209. The manufacturer of Vitalstim is MP Incorporated, a DGO global company. Reimbursement for dysphagia therapy using Vitalstim has not been difficult with Medicare, although other insurance companies have been a little more difficult to seek reimbursement through. Um, when billing after using vital stim therapy, two CPT codes are billed, one for neuromusculatrical stimulation and the other for the swallowing exercises. Compared to the cost of managing a patient with a feeding tube, vital stim therapy represents a significant savings, even including the cost of all treatment sessions and all special supplies. Feeding tube costs are reported to average over $31,000 per patient per year. Including the money spent in hospitals, the total cost of dysphagia to the healthcare system is well over $1 billion and rising rapidly. Vital stim therapy is an evidence based treatment. Blumenfeld et al. demonstrated that vital stim accelerates the recovery time from a restricted diet. Rofus et al. demonstrated that vital stim is safe and effective treatment for chronic post stroke oropharyngeal dysfunction. Carnaby Mann and Creary published a study demonstrating the lasting positive impact of vital stim in a group of patients for whom previous attempts at dysphagia therapy had failed. Primser Vanich et al. conducted a randomized controlled trial comparing neuromuscular electrical stimulation to traditional therapy techniques. Both treatment approaches were found to positively impact swallow function, with the neuromuscular electrical stimulation having significantly better outcomes. Vital stim for chronic pharyngeal dysphagia produced improvement in clinical swallowing ability and functional oral intake without significant weight loss or complications. Besides the growing empirical evidence base, the adoption of the vital stim therapy system is increasing as a result of widespread reports of good patient outcomes and good patient satisfaction. Crary and Carnaby Mann Confirm these outcomes in an independent user survey of 2,000 speech pathologists in 2007. Disadvantage or drawbacks of vital stim therapy includes the high cost of equipment, the necessity for specialized training, the rigorous qualifications for enrolling in certification courses, difficulty of electrode placement, the time-consuming treatment, difficulty or hesitancy with clarity in billing insurance companies, and it's expensive for private pay patients who do not have insurance. Using vital stim therapy has many advantages. Dysphagia profoundly impacts the individual's quality of life. Routines must be altered and mealtimes are disrupted. If an individual must use a PEG tube for feeding, enjoyment of food is non-existent and he or she may experience depression. Therefore, recovery from dysphagia improves quality of life. Vital stim is an interesting modality because it is not a passive treatment. It is used simultaneously with swallowing exercises, enabling the patient to take an active role in his or her dysphagia treatment. Vital stim accelerates the recovery time from a restricted diet. And in a study by Carnaby Mann and Crary, vital stim for chronic pharyngeal dysphagia produced improvement in clinical swallowing ability and functional oral intake without significant weight loss or complications. Vital stim therapy system improves quality of life and the individual's participation in meaningful life activities. Thank you for viewing my presentation on vital stim therapy. Please reference the handout in the discussion board for more information.